Happy Burning River 100 Eve. If you don't know what that is, I'll talk more on that in a minute. But I also wanted to say it's Christmas in July because I got a new pair of Newton running shoes. So usually I get the model that uh, was the previous year because I can get it for under 100 bucks. But the only model they had, or the only size they had, color they had in my size was black and blue and I don't want to train in black and blue shoes in the uh, in the heat in the summer so I opted to get the uh, full price with the 15% discount uh, of the Newton Fate 8 and I haven't tried them on yet and uh, I've looked at them only once but here they are it's pretty sick aren't they Pretty, pretty sick. Pretty, pretty, pretty sick. So, we are going to go on a five or six mile run. And then, when I get back from that run, I'll talk a little bit more about the Burning River 100. Five mile review of the Newton Fate 8. They're great. Had a solid run at eight minutes and 24 seconds per mile for five miles. Average heart rate was 154 beats per minute. Step cadence, 182. And the splits were 837, 838, 830, 822, and 750. Cruising on the last one. Felt great. There's nothing like having a new pair of shoes, especially a pair of Newtons, because you really don't have to break them in. I mean, you put them on and they're just, you just feel fast. So, enough with that. What is Burning River 100? So the Burning River 100 is a 100 mile ultra marathon that starts and ends in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. And the reason it's called the Burning River is because the Cuyahoga River is very famous for catching on fire because of all of the oil slicks from all the manufacturing companies that are on the river. And in 1969, it was the 12th or 13th time it caught on fire. It's been cleaned up a whole bunch, but it still has uh, some nasty stuff in it. You had to go to the hospital if you fell into the water in the 1890s through uh, 1960s or whatever. But uh, we're here at the Burning River Expo. Got all the things. Just had the race meeting about an hour ago. Um, we are, <laughs> the whole reason why I wanted to make this video is because I am filming a running doc for my buddy, Brenton Wyrick, who you've seen on the channel before. But we're going full send uh, this time for this running doc and I'm gonna try to make it just something really special. It's a passion project. Just gonna be me on a gimbal basically all day. I'm picking him up at mile 50 to pace him for 17 miles. But other than that, I'll be uh, following him with the gimbal and handheld. Um, gonna follow him around, gonna spend the night with him all night tonight. Get up, get him getting ready in the morning. Tonight, packing everything up making sure he's going over the plan and everything. And then I'm gonna get up with him early tomorrow, get him uh, getting ready to go to the race. And then uh, at 4 a.m., race starts right here. Right here it starts. And then uh, he's gonna be going for, he hopes to finish in under 24 hours. And uh, the cutoff is 30 hours, but the last two times he attempted it, he got to mile 52 where I was with him and he stopped. And then mile 77 last year, he didn't have any pacers because he felt bad about the first year. But this year he plans to finish. And there's a couple of pacers, me, a couple of his buddies, and then my dad is also pacing him at uh, mile 87, I believe. 
and that's going to be all at night. And uh, I'm just super excited to film this, nervous to see how it's going to come out, but again, just really excited to make this passion project and stretch my creative muscles, see what I can do, and see if, um, see if I got the chops to start doing running documentaries, start doing longer length things. So that is Burning River 100. We will see you tomorrow morning for the race start and I'll take you along with me, try to vlog as much as possible to show you the experience of trying to film a 100 mile uh, ultra marathon. So, see you tomorrow. Doing good, Brenton. Thank you, thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I did this you, Yep. <laughs> documentary? Yeah. I get to be in your movie. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Two times now. <laughs> hey, that's my wifey. Hey, yeah. That's my little wifey. Yeah. Are you going to be a camera? Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, Brenton, he's making a documentary about this. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be in it. So I have to uh, let me know when it's on YouTube or whatever. Alright, yeah, we'll do. I'll look you up too. I've got a YouTube channel with over 200 videos. Oh, yeah, we can do that. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling yeah. real good. Uh, feels nice and easy so far. So That's good. I had good company. What's up? Alright. You want to get water real quick? Ah. In here? Don't yeah, but I don't... Do not like the water. I don't need anything in it. I'm just going to fill it up with water. I have a little bit left. Okay. Um, uh, fruit leather. That was good. Actually, you take one of it. Did you? Mm -hmm. good. Frazzled! at the station for five minutes. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's about 10 minutes behind. And before he came into this first one. You're awesome, you're everywhere. Thanks ladies. I love it. Good job. I thought a deer was running through the woods. You guys can keep moving. Uh, uh, I'll give you a space. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. I was like, man, this is a big deer. Right. Is this that section? <laughs> no, but man, I've seen a couple more. This is nature's aid station right here. Yeah. Grab you some. <laughs> I left some. You gotta pick the ones that are high up off the ground because you don't know who peed below. <laughs> You're good. I appreciate it though. Yeah. So I just realized I haven't given any updates at all. We're at about 
eight hours in, about 12 o'clock, we're at the fourth cruise station, I think, called Pine Hollow. Um, Brenton just passed the 35 mile mark probably like 10 minutes ago because the Race Joy app is about 10 minutes slow. But so far, I've been getting a ton of footage. Uh, I've only been able to run with him once at a crossing, um, but that's where I'm headed right now. I'm gonna run with him for maybe a quarter of a mile, just get some more footage. And then we're gonna meet him at Silver Springs, which is the mile 50 mark where he will turn around and come right back. And then I'll hook up with him. I'll be running with him uh, with the GoPro. And then after 17 or so miles, I'll pick up the camera again on the gimbal and we'll do some more filming. But uh, if I haven't already put some of the footage in from what I filmed today so far, I'll put some in right now. But I'll see you at mile 50. Look at that. Good. How are you? Great. I just saw your family as we left. Yeah. So shoot and finish under 12. Yeah. You're there. Not bad for not training. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Really good. Good. I don't know what happened. Just it all killed. Just the light switch turned man and I just kept Sorry. going. Yeah, I want to stay ahead of this guy though because he's in my group. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see you. Good job, Dave. Will do. There you go, guys. Hey, you too. Oh, yeah. Woo! Trail time. Yep, this payment's going by for the year. Oh. Sorry, it's really not that bad. I wasn't yelling because it's bad. All right, get out of here. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> Think I made some enemies? Maybe. <laughs> well, that's all I can say. They got less than 10 left. Ah! That's gonna suck for them. Like it sucks for me. <laughs> but I'm gonna be happy when it finishes. I can put a front on all day. Walk hard, do all this stupid stuff. Not stupid stuff, do all this stuff. But Yes, I am. I am beat. My foot screaming. toilet paper in any of the restrooms. I used my wet wipe from my hat. But the good thing is I used the wet wipe from my rock from my hat. <laughs> You're killing it. Oh thank you. Oh, guess what? There's no toilet paper at all in the bathroom. Isn't that crazy? Oh it's miserable. Good thing for tissues. Yeah. <laughs> Good seeing you all. Can I read all your signs? Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Where's your sign? Is it on the bottom of your foot? Yeah. The verbal got it. I heard the verbal sign when I came. Yep. Right. Thank you all. And your mom's still doing good? Yeah. And your dad's still doing good? Yeah. Oh, how'd it go? Well, no, the other dad is. Oh, the other yeah. dad is. Okay. They're doing great. Oh. Not too far behind you. Perfect. Good. Good job, bud. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, they got oranges over here. Yeah? yeah. One and one. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun out here. You're killing it. I'm gonna tie a rope around you. You can pull me up. Hills of love. Yes, I do. Probably not. Yes, I do. I just gave you mine. That is an amazing impression. That is amazing. Thank you. I hope you kick butt. <laughs> Apparently, these are called the Sound of Music Hills because there's like three or four of them and they are steep boys. Look at that. Very pretty. The third one, the one we came down. I'm sure they're not that much better going the other way. No. No, you actually have to climb up out of the woods then. Play my violin at the top. Show my respects to the hills of aliveness. So is this where you came through after you went? Is that's the yeah? Okay, so we go through snake through here for a while and then. Yep. For about hour and a half, two hours. Really? Yep. Four miles. Right now. Depends on how fast we travel, but at a twenty-minute walking pace, two hours. Oh no, twenty-minute walk, four miles. 20, 20, 20, this one, and I'm done. <laughs> I lost my math. We're at mile 66, getting closer to the aid station. Brenton is feeling scale of 1 to 10, 10 being as good as you can feel at 67 miles. Four. Six. He's feeling a six. But the aid station means that I get to tap out. But I also, and Brenton also, gets to get more ice 
inside a paper towel. <laughs> the last uh, aid station, I had to run back and get some of it, but it was okay because they had a bunch of food there. And I just kept eating as they were getting the ice prepared. And then I had to run to catch up to him because he's a speed goat. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Feeling like I have three hours of sleep and 23 miles on my feet today. Every walking step. What's up, girl? And every run. Oh my god, ice. I'm doing a mix of walking and running. Sometimes more running than I mean, walking than running. But if it's a mix, you're good. Like, yeah. it, when I get nervous, it's when people are only walking. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we passed some guy that was on as we were on the bike and hike path. As soon as we came up to one of the roads, he's like, hey, you guys need any salt tabs? And it's just a plastic baggie with pills in it. I'm like, dude, I'm not grabbing any salt tabs from you. That's laced with something. <laughs> it's like, I'll grab them from an aid station. Yeah. <laughs> He look. He looks strong. Yeah, he looks good. Looks like he's gonna be about 16 hours. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Just to know your average run at midnight for 15 miles then. Everyone does that. Yeah. Um no. No, this would have been the aid station. Oh, okay. Main station. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, he looked at me like, what are you doing here? And I looked at him like, what are you doing here? What does any person at this time of night do here? <laughs> well, yep. I'm going to borrow for the rest of my body. <laughs> and, uh, Ready to go tackle it. Yep. You ran with us at Quill Hollow in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Fell in the dark, too. <laughs> Yeah, that's because, well, that's because he was in front, I was in the back. Him and I had headlights, but this one didn't, so I had to make sure my headlight was shining. <laughs> There's acid on that. Are you serious? That's, I think, why I was messing up. Man, Your battery that tripped up my lip. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's some. Um, some lemon lime chaps. Was that that, that noise? Yeah, maybe the popping. Don't I just can't put my lip on here. it this time when I blow it. Is that a diamond? Yeah. Yeah, you can see all the white powder in yeah. there. Yeah. Nasty. 
So Ted, I might be using one of yours when we're out there if this doesn't work. Man, my lip's tingling. Good thing it didn't get in my eyeballs. I'd have seen some pink elephants out there. That goes to tell you I'm a little tired. Yeah. I'm not seeing the pluses and minuses on the batteries. <laughs> well, that's what I want. I want all the pain right here and not right here so I can yeah. focus on a mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when I was running javelina and I was hurting pretty good. But then I got cactus needles. Oh. I got a, a, a whole handful of cactus needles in my rear end, too. But anyhow. And yeah, let's just say there wasn't much other pain going on right now. Like, yeah, it was. I can remember some needle pain in the yeah. tush. <laughs> Arlen, one of my back hey, thank you. Fun out it there. was a pleasure. Absolutely. Appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. Yep. <laughs> Cut that out of the film. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, take a quick little run here. Time is 1.20 a.m. I'm on the towpath trail, just in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. Uh, had some runners pass by me, just filmed my dad and Brenton uh, walking for a lot. Um, it's over mile 80, so he's, he's walking a ton now, um, but it is uh, super late. So, yeah, we got like five hours left. So, um, that's the update for now. I'm tired. There's an animal over there or something. Yeah, all right. Uh, lower back kind of hurts. I'm gonna do some more filming. We got a ways away hike to go back to the uh, trailhead where I parked, so. Update in a few hours or something. Just realized I'm still filming in log, but we are at another road crossing. You can't see it, but I'll put a clip in here. Um, ooh, someone's coming now. But it is, uh, It is 2 a.m. We're waiting for Brenton and my dad to cross this. And they have about a mile and a half to two miles until the next cruise station. Right at the road. Hi. Good morning. Hey, hey, good morning. You need that shirt yet? Nope. Thank you. I wonder what that annoying light pole was there for. Huh. I was wondering what was going on. I'll be back. Where's the restrooms at? To the right. Good job, brother. Perfect. Good way to go. Thank you. Can I fill up anything while you're using the restroom? If you want to. I got you. He's doing all the work, not me. Can I have a water refill in that one? Yep. This is water. And scratch in this one. Got it. Thank you. I'm going to be a minute. Thank you. Thank you. You're almost there. <laughs> Five more minutes. How's everybody doing? They're sleeping. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. Thankfully, they're sleeping. Yeah, and the wife? Uh, she's not too far behind you still. She's still, cool. still kicking. Cool. Yep. How's she feeling? Good. Okay. Good. That's awesome. I'm excited for it. This is going to be fun. Your kids out there, who, they were your kids? Two of mine and two of hers. They're awesome. 
Oh, you got so great funny. kids. We had a Thank good time. You. I mean, cheering everyone on. I think I was talking to Ted as I was uh, started pacing with him. I said, oh, you know what I haven't seen for a long time? So all those, we had to cut them off kids. at 30. Yeah. yeah. They'll be at the finish line. Look for okay. them there. Cool. Yeah, I was like, man, that was, that was like the highlights of my day today. I was like, it was, it was perfect. They're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you. Hey, I didn't know I was going to see you here. Sweet. Scratch and water. Here's your, thank you very much. Here's your ramen noodles. Oh, are they hot? They are. Yeah, they're hot ones. Yes. Perfect. Oh yeah, this cup's already made. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Thank you very much. I am going to take two of them. Yeah, go ahead. You want. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Sarah here? Yep. All right. I'll right meet you after. All right. Sorry. What do you think your mile pace is right now? Well, we've been going between like 15, 45, and 16, 20, I think it was. Four miles. You average it to 16 about I can, an hour. If I can get him just focused on what we're talking about, yeah. I'm trying to pick it up a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. I would, an I hour would say is 5.15. So, if you want to, like, 5 o'clock, just, like, kind of try to get it under get it there, maybe. So, how, what do we get to this? Yeah, sorry, Seth. 3.8. Okay. Here's this. 3.8 will be... At what mile? At 92.5. 3.8, of course. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But 91.5, according to me. Huh. I'm only showing nine miles in the watch. But well, that's what it... Yeah, four point what? What? It's, oh, 3.8. 3.8 so there, and then you'll be at 90... I'll be at 91.61. Okay. This is 92.5. You've got about 14 more miles. 92.5. Bam. The whole so we're shooting... Less than half a marathon is what I'm looking at. We're going to say we're shooting for five. That's my estimated time. Okay. A little update for you. Current time is 322. Brenton and my dad just left the Botsum or Boatsum cruise station about five minutes ago. And he's got about 13 miles left. Just finished up mile 87. They're working on mile 88. This is uncharted territory for him, but he's doing really well and um, excited for him. Got about three more hours left though, maybe three and a half. So I will update you uh, when we see them next or when we get to the next uh, cruise station. There's three cruise stations in a row at the last or at the end and then the finish. So. Update you then. All right. All right. Love you all. Love you. Thank you. See Thank you again. Thank you. See you in about two hours at the end. All right. All right. Bye. Are you warm enough? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? So, Sarah, what I need your help with big time. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> These do flags are going to be on our right hand side about every tenth of a mile. Okay. More in times of me, they More in times of me? Yeah, if we're like coming to a turn or something like that, or they just want to make sure we're on the same route. Okay. So just keep me on the correct route. Put it on there. There's a cutoff time. And so there used to be flags all up on this side too, because the flags are always supposed to be on your right. So at the beginning, flags are always on your left and your right. Mm -hmm. So as the course is coming along, letting people know, hey, if you fall on the far side, they start pulling the flag. Wait. Uh, I'll run again as soon as I come to you. Okay. You ready to go with me? Yeah. However fast you want to go.
15 minute pace Sprint. as a run. Yeah. Okay. Well, however you want to go. Uh, yeah. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. Hey. Thank you for the said he wanted to accomplish what was once impossible in his mind, but now he knows it. Great job. of being awake straight we have accomplished the goal we set out to accomplish it was a great event Brenton finished his 100 miles finally beat the monster third try third time is the charm and uh, that's going to be the video I guess I can't really think right now because I'm falling asleep every other every other word every other breath um, but the documentary will be out sometime um, I'm sure you will have already seen some of the clips that I got yesterday and um, yeah more to come in the future with Brenton and myself and running and if you like this kind of stuff subscribe to the channel like the video because it helps a lot and uh, we'll see you in the next one see you later